Hi, today I'm going to show you how I wash uh, Shih Tzu. I'll try not to get my arms in the way. Now, Shih Tzus have a very short face, and sometimes it's very difficult to, um, to wash their face, so you have to be really careful so they don't get water up the nose. And that's why they're sometimes difficult to wash, because they do get water up their nose. So, I like to wet down the body first. He's going to struggle. So get ready. Come here. So just put the water on really low. And some, some dogs you have to do um, a dry bath or use a cloth or a, or a cup or just your hands to wet the face. Come here. Come here. So you can't blast water in their face. They don't like it. I don't blame them. If I had a nose like that, <laughs> I'd do the same thing. Okay, come here. Come here, where are you? And sometimes you really have to wet the face because they have uh, like hard stuff, you know, on, on their corners of their eyes. So you have to get it soft. So I got some of its face wet. Not really wet, it's just damp. Come here, it's okay, it's okay, come here. No, come on. Just hang on to them like this. Put your thumb under their chin and the rest of your hand on top. And just move your hand around. Atta boy. What a good boy. Very, very low pressure. And you can also stay, 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 stay. Come on. Just put the, the sprayer on top of the head against the skin. Very, very low pressure. And the water will go down. Careful not getting right up the nostrils. That will choke them. Alrighty, we got you a little bit wet there. The body's not too bad. The body's kind of easy to wash, huh? So wet them all around, lift up the tail. You want to get the underneath the tail clean there. Sometimes they hard, hard stuff there too. And under the groin. And if it's a female, sometimes they have hard, crusty stuff there. Oops. Oh, and they get you wet. Okay, so I just kind of wet them one time over. And then I get my shampoo. You stay there, bud. They like to go all over the tub. Come here. <laughs> I think you might as well jump in with them. All wet. Okay, so I wash all my dogs two times. Now, if they have sensitive ears, like always getting ear infections, it's best to put cotton in the ears. This guy's okay, and I try to avoid them getting in his ears. But it's it's not really the clean water that hurts their ears; it's the dirty water. And this this dog's not very dirty. So you really want to give them a good, good lather. Come here, you're going to make everybody dizzy. Come on. You're making me dizzy. Mm. Under the belly. Stay, 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 stay. And get those toes. You want to go between the toes. <laughs> you're a difficult one. And in the pads. Come here. No, no. Sometimes if they're really squirmy, really, really difficult in the tub, a one-time bath is okay. Or a one and a half, you know, a quick bath. Sometimes, you know, they're like this. I'll just give them a really quick rinse and just add some more shampoo. Okay, stay down, stay down. See, he's getting nervous about the face already. Stay, stay, stay. Shh. Stay, it's okay, it's okay. You really gotta, no, no, no. You gotta grab a hold of the chin there. Be careful of the shampoo bottle that you don't poke them in the eyes. It's okay, bud. If they have nothing to hang on to because they got such a short face. And some of them are worse than others. 
Hardly no nose at all. Mm -hmm. Almost like a Persian cat. Okay. Oh, no, come here, come here. What I'll do is, stay, 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 stay. stay. Oh, no, come here, come here. Okay, shh, 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 shh. Pour shampoo on my hand. Okay, this is where it's, it gets hard. Sorry, I don't know if you can see it. My arm's probably in the way. But just use your thumb there to clean the corners of the eyes. And if you can't get it all clean, just after the bath, you can use the waterless shampoo and um, clean the face. See, you got to soap in your, your own nose. So that's how you kind of wash a Shih Tzu that struggles. There we go. All right, so I'm going to give him a good rinse and wash one more time. There you go. I rinse in the face. Maybe I'll show you. Just that, wow, he's getting too wild right now. I just start with the ears. Or he's winced the head first because you don't want the soap sitting around the eyes there. You want to get it out of the way. Okay, I know, I know, I know. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. There we go, buddy. Okay, you can go in circles. There we go. There we go. There we go. Sometimes they realize you're not going to hurt them and they will sit still. But they know you're not going to hurt them, really, honestly. They just don't like the, you know, the water in their eyes, especially the soap. You know. So you can just go really, really low. Oops, that kind of went down in his nose there. Okay, there we go. I know, I know, I know. I just want to get some, a little bit of water there. Okay, come here, come here. There we go. Okay, then I'll just use my thumb. There we go. Now, clean water is not going to hurt his eyes, so that's okay. There. Make them tired. Okay, I'll rinse them all off. Together, together, together we can give them a bath, all right? Now. Now, he did not get hurt in any way. I was not rough with him. I just kind of let him walk around and do what he needs to do. But sometimes you just need to really get a hold of them to stand them still. And reassure them. Right, buddy? That a boy. Yes, a good boy. There we go. So make sure it's thoroughly, thoroughly rinse. All right, so thanks for watching. I'm going to wash them again, but the video will be too long. Thank you.